Ferrans is an amazing gallery built in 1927 with a fantastic collection. Twenty seventeen was certainly a transformative year for us. Being UK City of Culture was tremendously important. Apart from anything else, it enabled the gallery to have a major refurbishment, which certainly would not have happened without that title. And I think it also opened doors in terms of opportunity. The City of Culture, we decided to be quite ambitious. So we commissioned the American photographer, Spencer Tunick, who is very, very well known for his nude public photographs. We worked with him to develop a theme, and the theme was Sea of Hull. Everywhere was talking about the day three and a half thousand people painted themselves blue, no clothes, and got photographed by a crazy American photographer. And I have to thank Spencer because it was the most amazing experience for us and actually for the city as well. We have made some really fantastic acquisitions over the past few years. So this is the Pietro Lorenzetti, the most important work that we have acquired in the last 50 years. And it formed the centrepiece and the heart of the gallery's rehang when we relaunched in 2017. I think the Ferrans Gallery plays a massively important part in our education in Hull. We saw a lot more families visiting with under fives as a result of the Explore Art initiative. So it was lovely to see that kind of cross-generational activity, which definitely increased a lot last year. Future Ferrans is a volunteer programme that aims to engage 16 to 25s with Ferrans Art Gallery. We did an evening event called Skin D. We invited local artists, dancers, musicians to come and perform or show their work within the space. The open exhibition has been staged for the past 50 odd years here at the Art Gallery and is one of the most popular events with the local audience who are obviously immensely important and indeed the principal reason why we are here. And so that provides an opportunity every year for local amateur and professional artists to show their work, to sell their work, and obviously affords them really good exposure to the audiences that are coming to the gallery. There are endless reserves of pride in what we do as a gallery, how we engage with local people, and that for us is what it's all about, changing people's lives. <laughs>